Suppose you mix your ice cream with two pieces of cherry. Suppose you mix ice cream with two pieces of cherry. So what will be your utility function? Suppose you mix one unit of ice cream with two pieces of cherry. What I'll do is that, uh, uh, suppose the number of uh, ice cream is more than half the pieces of cherry. Let us see. I'll tell you why I'm writing all this way. Suppose. The number of ice cream is more than half the pieces of cherry. Is more than half the pieces of cherry, right? So let's say you have four ice cream and you have seven pieces of cherry, right? So for the first ice cream, you have used two pieces of cherry. For the second ice cream, you have used two pieces of cherry. For third ice cream, you have used two pieces of cherry. Now you just have one piece of cherry which is there. And for every unit of ice cream, you need two pieces of cherry. You can't have the fourth ice cream properly made. That's not the corrected one. For the fourth ice cream, you can't put two pieces of cherry. You can't put. You can't put two pieces of cherry, right? Okay. Now you understand one thing. If X2 is the number of cherry, right? And X1 is the number of ice cream. The number of ice cream, right? So let's say you have uh, uh, one ice cream and you have two pieces of cherry, right? So you understand one thing that these two pieces of cherry can go into one ice cream and it means that I will end up with and this was, this is X1, this is X2. So in this case, I will end up with half corrected ice cream, half X2 corrected ice cream, right? So please write in this case, not half corrected ice cream, half X2 corrected ice cream. In this case, I will end up with half X2 corrected ice cream. Half X2 corrected ice cream. So uh, X2 is what? X2 is the number of cherries which you have. Number of cherries which you have. So I will end up with one corrected ice cream in this case, right? For, uh, let's say, for four ice creams, I need 
eight pieces of cherry. So how will I write this? For half x2 corrected ice cream. I need four ice creams. I need four ice creams. So how many X2s I should have? Eight. I need four ice creams. Uh, how many X2s I should have? Eight. Fair enough. So how do you write your utility function in this case? Min of x1 comma x2 by 2 min of x1 comma x2 by 2. This is the way you write it. So in general, if you have to use a units of x1 with b units of x2, in general, if a units of x1 have to be used with b units of x2 right then Utility function is going to be min of x1 by a, x2 by b. Same. The min of this is the utility function is going to be min of x1 by a, x2 by b. Right. This is about your perfect complements. Supposedly, the another problem, suppose. You're going for a shopping. You want enough pencils. For your work. Right. And what you consider in your head is that three units of the first kind of pencil be equivalent to one unit of the second kind of pencil. You consider three units of first kind of pencil. equivalent to one unit of second kind of pencil, right? So what is your utility function? What is your utility function? Now understand one thing. You consider three units of first kind of pencil be equivalent to first to one unit of second kind of pencil. So in your head, you are giving more importance to the second kind of pencil, right? So one unit of X2 is three times as valuable for, uh, for a unit of X1. So these are perfect substitutes. So please write since.
each unit of x2 three times as valuable as one unit of x1 so your preferences can be represented by x2 is equal to x1 plus 3x2 so you are giving more importance to the x2 because you're considering three units of first kind of pencil be equivalent to one unit of second kind of pencil so only one unit of second kind of pencil is equivalent to three units of the first kind so you're giving more importance to the second pencil to the second kind of pencil and less importance to the first kind of pencil so this becomes your degree function so one one thing is that you should be able to decipher what kind of utility function they're talking about Second is that you should be able to decipher in case if the slope is not one is to one, then how do you write the utility function? Okay. So I hope this was a little hope or a little helpful to you. Right. Thank you, Peter.